Oh, right, right through this hallway, right here to the right.
Good morning. On behalf of the College of Lake County Board Chair, Dr. William Griffin, the entire board represented today by Trustee Tori Newsom, and our Lakeshore Campus team led by Dean Jesus Ruiz, welcome and thank you for the opportunity to share a few words about the great things happening at Lakeshore. College of Lake County is committed to being a leader in providing innovative education and workforce solutions aligned with intentional partnerships to advance the diverse communities it serves. The Lakeshore Campus Student Center is an investment that continues the transformative journey to ensure equity in access and success that started with CLC's Lakeshore commitment two years ago. The facility is a place to create a vibrant urban campus environment in the heart of Waukegan, fostering mutually beneficial experiences between the college, the students, and its community partners that are meaningful to those we serve. As an open access higher education institution, College of Lake County has two core priorities. First, to ensure the economic and social mobility for every resident as they achieve an industry relevant credential so they may go into a family sustaining rewarding career or transfer to the university of their choice. And second, to ensure a diverse skilled talent pipeline for the workforce of Lake County so that our economy can grow. The Student Center will be a beautiful addition to the downtown Waukegan area, but we know that a building is not what is important. It's what we accomplish within it that is. It's a space to do more programming like the Transform Lake County Workforce Equity Initiative Grant, where wraparound supports, financial resources, and skills training packaged together are successfully creating a diverse local talent supply. We appreciate Representative Mayfield's advocacy to acquire the resources that provided the college an opportunity to partner with community agencies and form a success network around the students being served. The Lakeshore Campus Student Center will further the implementation of a student-ready holistic support structure aimed to eliminate barriers keeping students from accessing and staying engaged in their educational journey. The center will house state-of-the-art programs and will have intentional engagement spaces for students to collaborate outside of their classroom. The college is grateful for the priority set on equity in educational attainment by Governor Pritzker that is being carried out by the Illinois Board of Higher Education and Illinois Community College Board in their strategic planning and policy discussions. If Illinois is to elevate its performance and educational attainment in support of its communities to meet workforce needs and ensure economic growth, these are the necessary steps we need to take to close the gaps we currently face. CLC will continue to implement these opportunities through its equity and access and success plan. Thank you to Executive Director Jim Underwood of the Capital Development Board for the support on this project. Thank you, Governor Pritzker, for moving this long-awaited project forward. Thank you for your support of higher education and challenging us to a higher standard to be better. CLC Lakeshore Student Center is a space that will help the college and our community move forward better together. And it is now my honor to welcome to the podium, Governor Pritzker. Thank you very much, Madam President, Dr. Sudek, uh, for that very kind introduction. And it's great to see everybody here today. Great to be back in Waukegan uh, and in Lake County, of course. And, um, I want to say just a few words about some of the people that are standing with me and behind me today. Mayor Sam Cunningham, uh, Senators uh, Adrian Johnson and Melinda Bush, and of course Representative Rita Mayfield. It is always great to be with uh, people who deeply care about their communities and to celebrate progress together for Waukegan and this entire region. Uh, when we passed the state's capital bill, 
It had been 10 years since the last time that our state committed to investing in our infrastructure and in our most important institutions. When the General Assembly joined me in the program to create jobs and to grow our economy, they knew what they were doing. Upgrading roads and bridges across the state, modernizing state facilities like building a, tw a new 21st century crime lab, providing historic investments for preschool facilities, and creating a new academic building here and others across the state, and uh, new student centers too. Um, uh, for the colleges and universities that we serve. The student center here is going to be an enormous benefit to the people who uh, rely upon this institution and I'm just so proud to be here uh, at the beginning, uh, at the beginning of uh, launching this project. State representatives and senators like those here today were leaders in the creation of the bipartisan Rebuild Illinois Capital Plan, the largest infrastructure investment in our state's history. These were needs that existed long before COVID-19, and it's no secret that the virus has made life harder on working families and has uh, created budget and economic challenges for our state and for our nation. But even in a pandemic, especially in a pandemic, we must invest in our state's future. And the number one way to create a stronger future is investing in our young people. And that's why I'm so glad to celebrate the new student services and adult education building here at the CLC campus, the Lakeshore campus today. I know there are young people and people who are older uh, who use this campus, but it is our future that we're investing in here. And that is what is important. For decades, previous government leaders left our institutions of higher education with little support for maintaining or upgrading these facilities. And then we watched as nearly half of our college-bound high school seniors left our state for better funded universities out of state. We won't let that happen any longer. Illinois is better than that, and it's time for a change. We're setting a new path for our state, and investments like this student center and ed adult education services building are emblematic of progress. This project will hold a library, community meeting spaces, laboratories, career placement services, classrooms, and an upgraded children's learning center. It will be a shining example of what can be achieved when we invest in our future. What's happening with these investments in higher education is a microcosm of what we're doing all across the state. We're fixing decades old problems. We're creating and supporting good jobs, invigorating the next generation, and we're investing in our long-term economic success. The pandemic has brought a whole lot of challenges to our residents, to our small businesses, to our frontline workers. And in doing so, they've underscored the vital importance of smart investments that open new doors for working families and ensure that nobody falls through the cracks. We are building a new Illinois where we're expanding opportunity in Lake County, helping to revitalize it as an economic engine serving all people of this region. So I just want to say thank you. It's great to be back here. And with that, I'd like to turn it over to an incredible advocate, somebody who I get to work with in Springfield on behalf of the entire state of Illinois. And of course, she works tirelessly on behalf of the people of the 60th District, Representative Rita Mayfield. Thank you so much. Uh, I just want to say thank you to President Sedek, to Dean uh, Jesus Ruiz. Thank you so much for all of your hard work here in this community. You are making a difference. You really are. I want to say that. I also want to say thank you and how pleased I am to have Governor Pritzker once again in Waukegan, and even more so the capital dollars that he is bringing with him. <laughs> thank you so much for that. We really appreciate it. You know, for those that don't know, he really fought hard for our capital program and for us to have the money to do renovations such as what we're doing here today. And we are truly grateful for what he is doing for the state of Illinois. Thank you again, Governor. Yes. 
The Lakeshore Campus has always been an important educational hub right here in downtown Waukegan. As a lifelong resident of Waukegan and someone who has taken classes actually uh, here in this building and I've done meetings in this room, the room across the hall and in the basement here, I am thrilled that we are going to be doing some renovations downtown Waukegan and I'm truly excited for what these renovations will mean to downtown Waukegan and what we're going to do. As you know, Waukegan is a Main Street community and the newly renovated College of Lake Shore will take us one step further to a vibrant downtown. Where we're going to have more jobs down here, even more restaurants, and we're going to expand our cultural offerings. For those of you who are not familiar with Waukegan, you want to come down here and participate in our Art Walk. It is a fabulous blend of the community and of our heritage. Waukegan is open for business. Our residents, our restaurants are open, our uh, organizations are open, our cultural activities are all open. Come on down and see everything that wonderful that Waukegan has to offer. Thank you so much. And with that, I'd like to bring up Senator Adrian Johnson. Good morning. Thank you so much, Representative uh, Mayfield. And thank you, Governor, for coming to Waukegan again today. Uh, good morning, everyone. It is so exciting. It is an exciting day for Waukegan and for Lake County. Today is a, you know, a time to celebrate this project that's underway. The construction has begun, and I know the, the great work that we're putting in. It's going to be a beautiful, beautiful addition to Waukegan. A couple of months ago, I had the great opportunity to tour the Lakeshore campus and meet Dean Jesus Ruiz, Ruiz sorry. Uh, when we stopped on the campus, you can immediately tell that this was a very special place. And as the governor mentioned, the Rebuild Illinois program has invested millions of dollars in educational facilities to ensure students have access to state-of-the-art facilities they need to reach their goals. We are so thrilled to support this initiative. I commend the College of Lake County board and leadership team for expanding on your vision and commitment to providing equitable, high quality education and cultural enrichment, as uh, Representative Mayfield mentioned. And to individuals living on the northeastern part of Lake County and beyond. And it is important too to note that the important community leaders that had a proactive involvement and responding to the ever-evolving needs of the community. And that's what you're doing here today. The new Student Services Center, with the additional re renovations, will provide educational resources to local students and help them thrive both today and in their futures. The center will also benefit the community by spurring new jobs and opportunities. And it, as Rita mentioned, uh, a hub for the community. While Keegan is a gem of the lakefront, and I'm sure Mayor Cunningham is going to talk a little bit more about that, and I believe this project is going to help elevate Waukegan's status to one of the best college towns in Illinois uh, and in the nation. I look forward with great anticipation to the ribbon cutting and making sure we open it up for all of the students and all of the residents in Lake County. Thank you. And with that, I would like to welcome Mayor uh, Sam Cunningham. Still morning. Good morning, everyone. Uh, it is not often that I get to come up and I don't have anything to say because it's been said already. Uh, to the governor, uh, to Dr. Sutter, to Madam President, state representatives, Rita Mayfield and Johnson, and, and I will be bringing up Senator Bush. I don't have a prepared statement. And I'm going to tell you why, because I need to speak from the heart right now. And speaking from the heart, this is what my heart is telling me. Ten years ago, ma'am, this was supposed to already been here. I say, what would we been, be at if it had been here already? The governor set a mindset of this word, and this is the best word to explain our tax dollars and where we're going. Reinvestment. That's what this is. Reinvesting in the state of Illinois, the county of the lake, and the city of Waukegan and reinvesting those dollars for who? The future of our, of our society, our young men and our young ladies. That's what this is all about for me. 
Waukegan, Illinois is one, is probably, no, is a minority, majority community. You cannot get a piece of America without coming to Waukegan, Illinois. When you leave here from middle school, from high school, to go to college, you will have what America is all about right here in this community. I, I'm saying respectfully, Rita and I grew up here. We have been the benefactors of what our parents have fought for for many years. But right now that we are the leaders, we need to partner with our state educational leaders to bring what to our children. That's the key to poverty. That's the key to racism, education. And I am proud today that the Lakeshore campus, and if you take a look at the leaders who were there, from the board, now I got to end here because his wife is an alderman, <laughs> but the chairman, Dean, this is why it is so important that we continue this process of reinve reinvesting and rebuilding the state of Illinois in the city of Waukegan simultaneously. So on behalf of the mayor's office, Clerk Kill Kelly, Treasurer Schwab, all the legis legislative body we call aldermen and the great citizens of this community. I say thank you, Governor. Thank you, Madam President. Thank you, legislators, for doing what public servants should do for our communities. We build, invest, so we can see the future in our children. As always, take care of yourselves. Please try to stay healthy. Governor, I know they're not going to stay home right now because you've opened the doors a little bit. <laughs> God bless you all. Mark Keegan, strong guy. Coming up now is my good friend, Senator Melinda Bush. Well, you can imagine what a hard act that is to follow. So I have a short prepared speech. Um, but anyway, uh, so students, no matter whether they're 21 or 61, are literally our future. The education they receive, the connections they make and the skills they learn allow them to become the best versions of themselves. It helps them to serve not only themselves, but their families and their communities. Without robust educational facilities, those skills, those opportunities can be lost. Today, right here in Lake County, we're afforded the confidence that people, no matter what their color is, will have the opportunity as we announce the state of the art project. In 2019, I was optimistic about the future of Illinois when I voted yes on the Rebuild Illinois Capital Plan. It was a comprehensive in infrastructure plan. It was the first comprehensive infrastructure plan, excuse me, we had seen, as the governor indicated, in a decade. I had a lot of projects in mind, like most people do, and one of our top priorities in Lake County was the Student Service Adult Education Building on the College of Lake County's Lakeshore Campus. I represent the area just west of here where the Grace Lake Campus is, and it is in so important to this county that this happens in this community so that all along the shore here, we are making a commitment to education and educating our young people here. From meeting spaces to tutoring centers, this 62,692 square foot student center will be a place where the students, the students of our future, receive those life-changing opportunities they so long for. I want to thank Governor Pritzker providing, for providing this for our future and our students and students for generations to come, a place that will help them rise to their full potential and thrive in his or her chosen career. And I really do mean this. It was a huge lift to pass a capital bill that was that large. And it wouldn't have happened without the leadership of our governor. And I want to thank him. I want to thank him for his commitment to the future of Illinois, because I feel that optimism too. And it's my pleasure to bring back up the governor of the great state, Prairie State of Illinois. Governor. Thank you very much, Senator Bush, and thanks for your leadership in Springfield. Uh, and I'm happy to take questions from members of the media. 
Yes, sir. Um, what do you see this, you know, this new, the new building and the expanding campus doing for the overall area around Washington, in Waukegan and the state? Well, this is a more than $40 million project. The state is writing a check for $35 million, uh, almost 35. Um, and, uh, and our uh, goal here is to make investments in Waukegan, to make investments in the future for the people who work here, for the people who go to school here, and for the entire community. This is an, uh, an investment in our future economic well-being and how Waukegan goes, so goes the state of Illinois. Uh, and so we want to make sure that there's a downtown component, that people are coming here for the restaurants, that people are coming here for the vibrancy. And this new building adds to the vibrancy, in my opinion, of this entire area. Governor, if I can add to that real quick. Yeah, come on up. Make sure they get you on camera. And, and that's a great question. I want to add to that. If you take a look at the the how the stock that College of Lake County owns, from Washington Street on Genesee up to Clayton Street, correction, Madison Street, on the east side, it's College of Lake County. They're putting now they're moving their their footprint to Sheridan Road from Washington Street up to Madison Street, and then what is not really being said, an uplift of existing footprint. For Waukegan, in Illinois, that means, thank you, Governor, for the 35 million, too. <laughs> By the way. So what does that mean? That means those dollars don't come out of the local, then we can put those dollars back into our sidewalks, our streets, our, the awnings. That is the partnership that you, you expect from state government, federal government, the other business partners here, and that's why it's, I think this is such a massive project for all involved. And, and I'm a toot to home. Thank all of you for thinking of Waukegan, because it could have been any place else but Waukegan, but because of what they thought about and the importance, Dr. Sudduck said early, the programming that's going to bring people here to downtown Waukegan, open up more restaurants, and more vibrant in this community, the county seat. Thank you, Governor. This is his press conference now. No. <laughs> Any other questions? Okay. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, everyone.